Hey guys, this is Rodrigo Silvera here. Just wanted to show a demo of something I've been working on for a class that I'm taking in school. And this is an HTML5 WebSocket uh, server that runs a little application I wrote that is supposed to simulate the stock market. Uh, let me just go ahead and start running this so you can see how it works. Basically, I started my server, created my sockets here, localhost, I'm running WAMP on my machine here in Windows 7. So what I'm gonna do, now that the server is waiting for connections, I'm gonna go ahead and connect using Safari. So you can see the server in the background connected, sending data back to the, to the browser. And basically what this app does, we have the three companies up here. We have Southwest, Wendy's, and Google. Uh, and then we have some data we collected from Yahoo Financials. Basically, the server has all that data, and then every so many seconds it sends updates to the browser. So what we can do, you can see I have my budget down here of $100,000, my portfolio. I can adjust this right here to 100 shares, which at uh, $12 a share, 100, it will cost me, I guess, 1500 bucks so I can keep buying those shares you can see my cash is going down pretty quick and then my my portfolio grows now what I can do is actually pull up Chrome and just run the same app right here you can see the numbers are all the same everything is being updated in real time so what I can do is buy more shares of Wendy's, or rather Southwest, on this application, on this instance. I can also buy from Google if I wanted to. Oh, looks like I'm trying to buy $4,700 worth of stuff. I only have $2,200, so I can adjust that, no problem. And as you can see here, both browsers update in real time if I had money to buy more from Google so you can see there's 83,000 shares on both of them and then it depletes right there at the same time and then if I shut down my server let me just put this here so you can see the connection closes immediately for both clients and I could have more than two clients if I wanted to um, and everybody would receive the same thing so basically the cool thing about this HTML5 sockets as you can see here there's just some CSS a bunch of HTML but down here I have the logic of my app I have some variables and some objects and stuff like that all I have to do you don't have to do Ajax calls to the server to check for new data and things like that. That can be a pretty big waste if you're calling the server just to see if there's new data. You know, if there isn't, you just wasted an HTTP call. If you have hundreds of clients doing the same thing, you're going to be wasting a lot of bandwidth going back and forth to your server. So what we do here, we simply create this new uh, object of type WebSocket we pass in the address of the server which in this case was this PHP file that I had and then basically you simply register callbacks so when the application opens or when the connection rather opens what I do in this case I remove a loader image that I had display some some text to the to the screen and there's like five callbacks that you can you can register on open on close on message which is basically whenever the server sends us data in this case since I'm sending different types of data for different reasons I have this this method I wrote a parses the data finds out if it's an update of the prices or whatever kind of message it is um, and then it can register an event if anything goes wrong with the server or with the client and then here we have the rest of my logic there's a lot of JSON data being passed back and forth but the cool thing about it and the thing I wanted to share that I think uh, there's going to be more people doing this is moving away from Ajax 
using sockets whenever it's appropriate uh, since Ajax isn't really appropriate for some stuff especially something like this where updates are extremely um, frequent but not necessarily you know gonna happen so if you have a hundred clients for instance connected to this little server and then if they're all sending requests HTTP calls to the server every second just to see if there's there's updates on the companies if there isn't anything it's a pretty big waste of, of resources and so with this whenever the server is ready it will send us data if there is data and then you know we're gonna know oh there's new data let's process the data if nothing happens for 10 minutes you know there's no resources being wasted there's nothing going on in either the server or on the client which is pretty nice so anyways that's my little demo today if you have any questions go ahead and post them here with this video or go ahead also and visit me on my website at rodrigosilvera.com